So now over here you can see that I have a bunch of tasks and there is cost associated with uh, different tasks right here. So let's say what I want to do is I want to add in an if condition right here and let's say um, uh, if the cost is under $300 uh, then it's um, under the uh, threshold for easy clearance and if uh, it's more than 300 then um, a certain level of verification is required. So now what I'm going to do is for uh, the exact same thing I'm going to add in a custom field. So to do that I'm going to go around over here on to a project and once I go around over here I'm going to click on custom fields. So once you do that over here on the task let me just go around on to a uh, let's say for example task itself and let's change the type over here to text. Once you do that I'm going to go around on to text to right here and rename out a custom field. Let's say for example I'm going to say this is uh, let's say for example uh, verification um, uh, verification right here. So I'm just going to go around and press OK. So this is the uh, custom field that I have and over here I'm going to add in a formula. So I'm going to uh, choose this and click on formula right here. And once you do that what you need to do is you need to add in an if condition. So to do that you need to go around over here onto function onto general and over here you can see if is an option over here. So this is what you have. So now what I want right here is I want to uh, add in a condition where if the uh, actual cost value is less than 300 then I want to show uh, something while uh, if it is not then I want to show something else. So over here instead of expression I'm going to insert out field. What field is the cost field that is the actual cost over here. So this is the data that I inserted as you can see right here and the condition is if it is less than or equal to. So this is the sign that you have right here. If it is less than or equal to 300 right here then what I want to do is display out a data. That is I'm going to go around and say verification is uh, not needed in case it is less than 300. But if it is more than 300 then I'm just going to go around and say needed right here just like this. So if actual cost is less than 300 then verification is not needed otherwise it is needed. So this is how it works. So I'm going to press OK right here and OK over here as well and once you do that I'm going to insert out a column and I'm going to type in verification just like this and here you can see that on, on zero, uh, in 0 it's not needed uh, but in 300 uh, it's less than it's uh, not less than 300 but exactly 300 so it's needed right here but for 5000 it's needed as well and for this one it's $157 and that's why it's not needed as you can see right here. And similarly depending on the data that you have you can see that uh, the data is generated just like this and that is how you can go around and then work around with uh, uh, where, with the data right here and add in an if condition over here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around on to custom field and on to formula. Let's say less than equal to may not seem to be working right around over here. So let me just go around and say less than 301. So this can be done as well and press OK. So once you do that you can see that even 300 is not needed that is because this is less than 300. And, one. and that is how you can go around and add in if condition in custom field for data generation in Microsoft project. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.